Hello, um, so it's the <coughs> 23rd of December, um, as most uh, people would like to fish Christmas, I'm going to do the next best then thing uh, and um, fish the 23rd into the 24th, so waking up on Christmas Eve morning at the lake. Um, well the wind's just picked up so I better get the camera inside. Whoa. Right, yeah, so um, so Christmas Eve morning I'll be waking up on the lake, um, Christmas Day I will be at home with, with my wife and son, so um, I've got the next best thing. Um, I say the next best thing, I've, uh, I've, I nearly, nearly didn't come down here. Um, I've been planning it for the last couple of days coming down here and, um, and the weather totally changed today. Uh, it was horrible last night. Um, bit wet. Of course, uh, from about six o'clock this morning, it has been horrendously r raining. Um, I am talking literally roads were flooding uh, when I was coming home from work earlier on, and uh, there was drains overflowing. And I know that this lake is a, is a flood defence lake, and I was fifty fifty in weather to come down here, and then out of nowhere the rain completely stopped. Um, so I thought. Take the, I'm not going to miss the opportunity, so um, so I, I packed the stuff in the car, came down here um, to find that most of the pegs are underwater. I'm actually fishing uh, the disabled peg, which is halfway in uh, sort of the middle of the ish of the lake, um, and I'm fishing probably five meters back from the actual peg. It's the most open peg that I could fish. Um, luckily, there is nobody else on the lake at all, so I've got the whole lake to myself. So. Hopefully, um, <coughs> I'll get a bit of action during the night. Uh, I've been I tied two rigs for, um, for pop-ups. Um, I'll show you what I've got actually in a minute. So uh, yeah, so I'm down for the Christmas Eve Eve, and uh, <laughs> let's just hope I get a few on the bank. Is um, I know the last few videos. Uh, they're getting pretty, pretty dire, and I think I deserve one at the fender. I don't know. Well, I can try, can I? All right then. Um, I'll see you later. Right then. Um, got my name by there. <laughs> right then. I've got. Um, this is what I'm using tonight. Um, I purposely. Well, I won a competition on Facebook um, to write on the CC more. Um, page, and I got this little date package here. So um, thanks for that. Uh, uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's actually a special cold water um, set. You've got was it a cold water glug, liquid food. Um, then I've got what are they call cold water hotspot mix, which. Um, it's a mixture of everything. You can see in there, there's uh, a few red pellets, there's milk protein pellets, small, probably low oil pellets, and crumb mix, and and, and, and lots of other stuff. Uh, I don't know. I I could. There's a, there's a hint of uh, and a CD in there a bit, but uh, yeah. And then I've got it, that to top off. This is the thing I got to pick, was the sweet cream pop-ups. And these, these are really sweet. Um, see them in there. You can smell them. Open the, you open the tub up and you can smell them for like three or four foot away. They're that strong. But, um, yeah. So what I've done, I've mixed up the uh, the hot spot mix. Oh, can you see that? With a bit of the um, hot spot, uh, the wind, the cold water formula, and it's come out a bit like um, it's a bit like cheesecake base if that makes any sense um, so you've got the biscuit base for cheesecake and that is pretty much like it smells completely different but it's that kind of consistency so what I've done I've, I've made up some solid PVA bags with these pressed it down really hard and then I've threaded the solid bags onto the rigs so that uh, so that the pop-up doesn't get tangled well that's why I've done it anyway so so that's what I'm using. Yeah, so that was a nice little 
uh, surprised when I came home and there was a message on my Facebook saying I'd won won the competition. Get in touch. So, so let's hope they uh, bring me a fish tonight. All right then. Morning. <sighs> Proper cold one last night. You can see there's bits of frost in the front of the burpee. Um Mainly dew and stuff. Oh, frost on the wheels. But, uh, uh, yeah. It was a uh, proper cold, I think. My, my nose is still numb at the moment. I woke up twice last night with a few knocks, and um, <laughs> you might have guessed that uh, it's the, the was the swans and the ducks, but it's just dropped back. Um, probably it's probably dropped by about a foot and a half the water level because it's receded then about two meters. Oh, what to do? I'm not going to be on here late. It's about uh, it's about eight o'clock now. Um, I'm just going to give it probably another two hours before I get home. Back up. Ooh, it's freezing at the moment. Right then, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it and I'll, I'll see if I can get a, get a fish on the bank. <laughs> Ta-da. It's gone from freezing and frosty to raining and this rain is absolutely freezing. Well, it's mad to think last night when I got here, the water was touching, when well, I put the pod, so the front legs were touching the water, so the water level was dropped. <laughs> so, the, so the rod looks look like they're miles away from the water now, but I'm not going to move them. What I've done, I used up the last of that mix that I made in here, and I've put them into solid PVA bags. Um, just fold them over so they're all like little parcels. And I've got one then here that is probably about the size of um, like a table tennis ball, not that big. And I thread it down the down the rake, and then I tie that on now. But uh, <coughs> this is the KD style one. Oh. We get that there, do the hooks in there, the shot, and then there's the pop up. So, well, I'll wait till the wind dies down a bit, uh, rain, I mean, and um, bang this back out next to the island. Well, then, I'm uh, I'm waiting for the rain to sort of die down or stop so I can get a, a rod in and, and rebate it. But, uh, it just seems to be getting heavier and heavier. Oh, that's lovely, that is. <laughs> I think I'll defrost my hands one at a time. Right. I'm not sure how safe this is. Just get in the oven, go in in the um, in the tiny little one-man bivy. But at the moment, I don't really care. There's a horrible smell burning the hairs off the back of your hand. <laughs> well, this is turning to be a bit of a, a very rubbish little session. Um, I have had um, both those the rods I put out with small, small like, little PVA bags on them, with the hotspot mix. Um, they've been out about an hour, and I had a, I've had a single beep off each of them within the last hour and that's about it uh, it did rain a bit longer I think there's a few specks hitting the lake again but, uh, what a way to spend Christmas Eve it? sitting huddled in a bivy with your hands over the uh, stove it's not good is it I just uh, it would be nice to get that one Christmas Eve cart but um, 
be honest, I don't think it's going to happen at all. But, uh, right. I've got to, I'm going to start packing up in about half hour. And um, hopefully, well, hopefully the bivvy will be sort of dry by the time I get up get uh, that pack down but I doubt it alright then uh, I'll, I'll see you later probably when I'm packing up alright then ta -da. <laughs> right uh, I packed up and off the bank it was pretty hard and pretty um, awkward getting the timing in because as soon as I started unloading stuff on the bivvy um, the rain would just start hammering down again drag it all back in um, so I finally got everything into the car um, yeah proper proper disheartening session I would have loved to have got one for Christmas Eve but perhaps I should have fished a runs water I don't know well I give it give it a try anyway I suppose that's the best you can do um, I did manage to lose two rigs on God knows what on the bottom. Um, one of them I picked in, it was really arcing the rod over. It was God, I picked up some sort of tree log rags. I don't know what I picked up, but it was proper heavy, and eventually the knot gave way on on the rig. So, so <laughs> I'll see you next time I'm on the bank. Ta-da. Right then, hello, it's, I think it's Wednesday, 28th of December, um, so we're still within the little Christmas break between New Year, um, I managed to get out for a night, I did try to get down here before it got dark, um, I got down here at 5 to 5, which meant it was really, that was the last thrashings of light, I walked around the lake, I could see most things pretty okay. Um, I'm the only one on the lake tonight, which is surprising. See, it is technically midweek, and a lot of people would be off work. But um, yeah, so so I'm, I'm exploiting the bit of time off I've got, and um, getting down here. It'll probably be the last session of the year, to be fair. It's the 28th of December. Um, what have we got? One, two, well, technically two days, two days and a bit. Um, um, so I probably won't be fishing then. But uh, yeah, I probably <laughs> I can't see can't see myself fishing then. So anyway, I know that one or two fish have come out now in the last uh, week. So I've stuck with what I'm doing. I've got the uh, the CC Moore uh, hotspot mix and uh, pop ups, the barrel pop ups. Um, what I've done with two of them, or two of them. What I've done with them, I've put. Uh, I've hollowed out the top and wedged in a piece of glow in the dark horn as well um, any, th any extra bit of attractant that I can think of so rather than reduce make the, the whole boilie bigger or uh, the whole pop up bigger I've trimmed it down and ground it out so I can get the piece of corn in without actually making the whole thing bigger because um, I want to keep the baits as small as possible but um, yeah that CC hot, more, um, hot spot mix once you mix it with that uh, liquid food stuff with it try not to get it on your hands it is super sweet and you touch your mouth with it and it, all you can do is just sweet dust for hours um, I finished what well, putting the rods out about 25 minutes ago and I got I licked the PVA bags as, as I was sealing them up with this hot spot mix and literally all I can taste is just sweetness now um, I tried spitting everything and it's not coming out but uh, yeah I uh, Hopefully, hopefully they all go well. Um, I've had a bit of a bit of a mistake. I, I left the proper camera in the house, the actual photo taking camera. I've got um, this the camcorder. And it might be all right for taking photos. I've never actually tried it, so uh, let's hope that um, I catch one to test it. All right then. Uh, see you later on. Ta da.
yeah, so, um, I did spend a lot of time setting up. Um, firstly, walking around the lake, um, trying to pick a peg. I say, well, there's nobody else at the lake. I've totally spoilt for choice, but then where do I fish? That's the, that's the question, where are the fish? I was, I was stuck in a dilemma between two pegs, of course. The snags, which is probably the deeper water. Um, the one where I've caught probably the majority of the fish from this year, when I have managed to fish it. Or I was thinking more well, out on the open bank, on the far side, uh, on one of the big sort of father and son pegs, because the wind was cutting straight in there. Um, and, it, and to be fair, it was freezing over there. And I know that the wind's cut out by the trees here, so it's a lot, uh, a lot warmer. Even though it's what probably, probably like four degrees now. Um, so, so the difference between sitting in the warm, which is four degrees, and sitting over in, in four degrees with the wind blasting in your face, is a uh, is a lot. But uh, so I've gone for the warmer alternative. There's a very very good chance I'll blank tonight. Um, because it's so, well, it's middle of winter now, and it? it's winter started. Um, we've had the solstice, and I suppose it's it's going to be hard for the next few months. And um, yeah, so I'm not any anything on the bank is an absolute result. But, uh, so yeah, if I am going to sit it out in the cold, um, expecting a blank, well, I might as well be more comfortable. And it would be if I was sitting <laughs> over there with the wind in my face. But, uh, yeah. Oh, morning. Uh, it's probably about half nine now. Uh, I've been up since about seven. Um, I, I've got another dry net for the morning anyway. Um, I did have a few knocks through the night, um, all on the right rod, which realistically is the one out, out of the snags, sort of out in clear water, and the other one which I, I got is uh, pretty close to the tree, not really that close, about two or three metres off, but uh, I'm not going to risk uh, putting it in the tree in the, in the dark, but uh, yeah, I've... Uh, I reeled in and changed the baits this morning. I didn't put any bags on this morning, put it back out. Um, and a cormorant came down and picked one up. I could, I could see the cormorant cruising across, and next thing I know, half a run. Luckily, no hookup. But, uh, <laughs> that would have been fun. But yeah, so, just before I switch the camera on now, I've put um, solid PVA bags, and I've actually <coughs> well, I've done it the same as I've done last time. Took the rigs off, made the, well, I made the PVA bags up, and then took the rigs off and threaded them down, so that the hook bait and the, the hook is free. I don't know if that'll make any difference. Maybe. But uh, I've taken off the glow in the dark horn now, and it's just single pop-ups on now. So let's see what the morning produces. All right then. I'll see you later. Right, it's um, coming up to midday and uh, <laughs> about 40 minutes ago it started hammering down with rain. Um, it's starting to die off a bit now but it, it really has dropped the temperature. Um, I don't know, it's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> so, <laughs> seriously, um, yeah, I think I will pack up actually. There's no point being out here in the freezing cold. Where I've been here, what, I got down here at 6 o'clock last night. It's close to 20 hours. Um, all I've had is two little knocks. <sighs> so, rather than sit it out and be uncomfortable, go home. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do a blogger after I've packed up because, because 
raining. <laughs> All right then. Um, I'll, I'll see you next time on the bank. It'll probably be 2012. All right then. Ta-da.